Let's say you don't want to stomp on the bottle. You want some more pressure. Well, a bike pump can help you out with that. Uh, a little rubber stopper, this little contraption here that will hold it in place until we want to release it. And for this, we're going to use a two liter bottle with a little bit of water inside. Now this will be our variable. We want that extra mass that's in there so that when it finally breaks free, we have all of the water in the air pushing down and we have the bottle shooting up. All right, so here's what we're going to do. This goes in place like this. We're going to turn it upside down and lock this in. Bingo. And I'm going to put the pin in place here as well so it just doesn't uh, break free early. Now, the next part here is to put your safety glasses on and actually move back a little bit because we're going to put air inside and you'll see the bubbles going in. Now, I'm also looking at the tire gauge here to see how much pressure I'm putting inside as well. We don't want to exceed probably 60 or 70 pounds of pressure. That's uh, perfect, right at 60 pounds. All right, so now let me take the pin out. We're ready to go. Step back this way. When I pull the trigger for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Watch. Nice. That's perfect. Three, two, one. Hey Higginsworth, come here. This is gonna be great. My friend Higginsworth has no idea he's about to get soaked. You're gonna see how far you can shoot it out that way. Okay? All, All right, right, so here you go. Watch this, tip it up. Good, a little bit more. Okay, good. And then you're just gonna kinda pull the pin up. Pull it up, okay. Three, two, one, pull. <laughs> it went really far, Higginsworth. You did a good job. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, there is. Get over here. No, Higgs! I'll buy you lunch! I'll buy you lunch! 